Hey folks, Brandon Schaefer here. This is going to be a quick little demonstration of two-point perspective. Uh, just to give you some ideas and explain to you how it works. So as we talked about in the earlier videos, earlier lessons, whatever you want to call them, that you have a horizon line and that's where the sky meets the earth. Uh, and now we know what one-point perspective is, is just having one vanishing point so two-point perspective is basically just having two vanishing points now usually they're kind of far apart you know they can even be off the page uh, if you actually like tape your thing down or if you have a straight line on your table you can make your vanishing point way off the, the paper which can be really a lot of fun and you'll see why here in a few minutes so now we have two vanishing points so what does that mean well now instead of drawing a square for a house like I did last time with one vanishing point, with this you just draw a straight vertical line. Um, you know it can be mostly above or mostly below um, the horizon line. Just depends on what you're going for. I'm going to make it like that. And now what you do is from the top and bottom you draw to the to the vanishing points, you extend the lines out. This can be a lot of fun as well. I used to draw like this so much, just get my ruler out and just have a lot of fun. I'm just doing a quick here in a, in a quick sketching format. Now, however long you want your building or whatever it is, you just, you know, do vertical lines parallel to the first one and there's your building and then you erase these other lines here and that's your your layout for your building I'm not going to go into all that but hopefully you get the general idea and then if you want to do a roof on it the same way if you want to find the exact center point you just make an X here and wherever that X wherever the cross is where it meets you draw straight up from there and then there's your triangle and you can make this as tall or as short as you want, as shallow. And now, since you don't have to draw to this vanishing point because the roof's going back this way. Um, so you draw to this vanishing point. And then parallel with this line here, you draw one from this point, make it parallel. And there's the roof. So you can do that with the door here, you just draw, you know, like that, and you can see that it's going to vanish to this point over here, because it's not going to vanish that way, you know, because that would be off. It has to be parallel to these lines. See, it's just going to sweep up. So the top of the door is going to be going that way. And you do the same with the windows. You know, your windows are here, wherever, and then just draw them all the way back to the, to the vanishing point. But the ones on this side, say you're doing windows over here, they're going to vanish to this point. See, that's our first line. So whatever is on this side of it's going to vanish that way. Whatever's on this side of it's going to vanish this way, generally. So we just vanish the points back, and your windows are going to be in perspective. So I hope you can see that. There's a lot you can do with this, uh, with the two-point perspective. I mean, you can even make this, instead of this being a house, you can just draw the line all the way up and make it a big corner of the city. You know, you can have your, uh, um, you know, it could be a big skyscraper building here. You just draw it up, and then you just vanish your points back, and you have a very large building very tall building. Um, so there, there's a lot of, I mean, it's endless, but you can see if your vanishing points were way off the page, I mean, you could make, you know, the building would, you know, the whole, instead of it being so steep like that, um, you know, the city block would kind of be, you know, you could make it way out here like that, the corner of the city, and then have all these buildings going down. Um, you know, it's just not as severe the slope isn't going to be as severe if your points are way off the page. 
you know, way across your desk. So it's something to experiment and play around with. Um, you know, and just like I did in one point perspective, you can make your, the next, you know, you can make another house next to it and just vanish the points off. You know, and there's your next, your neighbor's house or whatever. You know, you draw up the, the roof. Um, you know, that's facing a different way, but, you know, you get the idea. You can do a whole bunch of different things with this. You can draw trees to fit in. Um, see, and as things go farther back, they get smaller. See, if there's a tree way back here, it's going to be really small, you know, if you want it in perspective. You know, sometimes nature is a lot larger, so it could be farther back, it could be a lot larger, but that just means that you know, that's a huge, huge tree. So if we drew it next to this house, the tree would be way out of the, you know, off the top of the page if there was a big tree like that, that far back. So I hope that makes sense. Um, so that's just a little bit, you know, look into it a little more and play around with it. Just have fun with it. Come up, try to come up with as many things as you can, you know, and just start trying to draw, um, you know, start drawing freehand perspective and, and try to figure it out you know things are going to get larger as they get closer to you and smaller as they get farther away so there's kind of a, a walkway to the house there but uh anyway thank you for watching and uh stay tuned for the next videos and uh take care of yourself peace